So Shopify and Squarespace are two absolutely dominant players in the website building space, but that doesn't mean they're both great choices for you. In fact, they're both very different and they're really good at really different things, but it's not especially obvious for most people which one you should be getting. So in this video, we're gonna compare the two head to head and see which one's actually the better builder for your needs. Whether you are a personal brand selling stuff, drop shipping, uh, a fundraiser, it doesn't matter what you're looking for. We're gonna talk about that in this video and help you decide which of these is actually the right one to choose. So before we get into the first category, I wanna start off with a little bit of a background with both of these builders. And I think this is really going to kind of explain the intent of both of them, and that'll foreshadow and explain a lot throughout the rest of this video. So let's start off with Squarespace. Squarespace was founded in 2003, and originally it was really just to help people make general websites, and it's kind of expanded from there. Now you're able to host podcasts on here, it's fantastic for blogging, single page websites, multi-page websites, and of course, e-commerce as well. And so because it's kind of well-rounded there, it's really been our go to recommendation just as a blanket recommendation. If somebody just says, hey Mike, I wanna make a website and they don't say anything else, I'm just gonna say, have you tried Squarespace? And that's really a go-to for that one. But because they're kind of so well-rounded, they're not hyper-focused in any one category. Now on the flip side, we're seeing Shopify was founded in 2006 and they are hyper-focused. They're extremely focused on one particular client and that is the e-commerce user, the e-commerce merchant, anybody looking to sell online, that is really exclusively what Shopify does. Now, that doesn't mean that they're always better because like I said, Squarespace has a lot of those peripheral tools. So for example, if you are somebody looking to have an online store, but you also wanna have a podcast, a couple about me pages, and, and you really want a well-rounded website, but you still wanna sell stuff, Squarespace might be your better option there. And we'll talk more about that in a minute, but just keep in mind that the main intent of Shopify is absolutely to be selling to clients. So that's going to be why it's more scalable in general. You're gonna see a lot of big e-commerce based stuff around them, a lot more payments being accepted uh, and things of that nature. And with that being said, that kind of brings us into the very first category of this video. I wanna talk about the pricing options. Now, pricing with these, as I've mentioned before, is really where you can, again, see where these two are really oriented. So starting with Shopify, being that they're so oriented for e-commerce, their base one is actually $29 per month and their most expensive one is $299 per month. So really widespread there. And it's going to make sense. I mean, of course, I'll link down below so you guys can check the latest prices, see if they have any sales and read more about what the different tiers actually offer but it's going to essentially make sense as you go to the higher tiers, you're seeing lower fees on there when you're selling stuff, uh, and of course, more features as well. Now, on the flip side, remember how I said Squarespace was really geared towards anybody and everybody out there that's looking to make a website. And that's exactly what we're seeing here and with their pricing as well. So their cheapest option is not really meant for e-commerce. It's going to just be, if you wanna make a website in general, I believe you can still sell stuff on there, but you have some pretty high fees and stuff like that. So it's really not meant for e-commerce, but it's about uh, $12 per month. And their most expensive one is not quite as premium as the Shopify one. It actually only goes up to $40 a month. And the first one that they actually call an e-commerce uh, tier though is actually $26 a month. So when you're looking at the cheapest e-commerce plan for both of these, when you're kind of you know going a head to head comparison here, you're looking at $26 versus $29. But that's not the only thing you need to consider when you're looking at the price. Of course, the price per month is very important, but with e-commerce, you also have a price per sale. Uh, anytime you're selling stuff, you might be looking at fees on here. And this is also really important to consider. So with Shopify, they actually charge 30 cents plus anywhere from 2.4 to 2.9% and a 0.5 to 2% fee uh, for non-Shopify payments transactions. So they really want you to be using Shopify payments. Unfortunately, they're not accepted everywhere in the world just yet. So there are situations where you wouldn't be using Shopify payments and you would still be required to pay that extra fee there, like I said. Uh, so that's a little bit of a drawback with Shopify, but the good news is they do have plenty of different ways to accept payments as well. Uh, anything from Amazon payments uh, to PayPal to, to uh, Stripe and Square, like you really 
really have a lot of options out there. Now, on the flip side, Squarespace has fewer fees. And, and so Squarespace actually only accepts Stripe, PayPal, and Square, uh, all of which are going to have their own fees on there. But regardless, you generally will be seeing slightly lower fees uh, with Squarespace. So really comparing these two head to head in the pricing category, I kind of have to say that these are really kind of tied here. I'll put links below in the description so you guys can go down and check out really what each tier offers so you can figure out for your own needs. Like for example, Squarespace is going to come with a domain for the first year. You might have different features on Shopify. So go down and check those out. Uh, I have a link in the description so you can see the latest prices on both of them and compare the tiers to figure out which one's right for you. The next category we talk about is actually the design. So when you're making a website, you want something that looks fantastic. And both of these do a great job of that. But they do it in a very different way. So at first glance, you might say that the clear winner is Squarespace as they have over 110 different uh, themes or templates. I'm gonna use themes and templates kind of interchangeably here. So as you can see here, Squarespace has tons and tons of different templates you can choose from. And they have a really nice tool on the top where you can sort them and just look at the online store ones. And even within this category, there are tons of amazing templates to choose from. All of them look fantastic. And the good thing is they're included in your subscription. You don't have to pay any extra for these. You can pick whichever one you like and just add it to your site. Now, Shopify has uh, only nine free themes, so you're much more limited on the free themes, but they do have 72 other paid themes. Uh, so when you're looking at paid themes, I'm talking about about $150. But if you want to save that cash and you want to have a theme uh, that's kind of just, you know, included with your subscription, which, I mean, honestly, I think is very appealing, then Squarespace is a great option here as well. And so honestly, between the two of them, the number of themes is important, but actually looking at how they appear is a little bit more subjective. And in my opinion, I think Squarespace does look a little bit better. So in general, I do lean towards Squarespace with the design aspect. Uh, across all the website builders, though, Squarespace has always been uh, kind of one of my favorites with regards to how they look. They're generally clean, they're easy to build with. So of course design and aesthetics are very important for a website, but equally important are the apps and the features, essentially the functionality of your website. And when you're talking about this, one huge benefit of Shopify is that they have a massive library of, of apps. Now on the flip side, uh, Squarespace, as of maybe a year or two ago, didn't have any integrations at all, but they added a new feature and now you do have some integrations. It's a growing aspect of Squarespace. So depending on when you're watching this video, it might be more, they might have more than they have right now. But as of right now, it is relatively limited. You're not gonna have a ton of different integrations that you can use. But the good news is a lot of what you need with Squarespace is already built in natively uh, to the builder itself. So for example, a lot of the marketing tools, a lot of the cart tools, a lot of stuff like that, already comes built into Squarespace, whereas Shopify is a little bit more bare bones. It doesn't come with as many things, but there are a ton of different apps. And this is really where uh, Shopify excels for any merchants that are looking to be larger or do more stuff. There's so many different options out there uh, for drop shipping, for sending text messages, as receipts for sending updates, uh, for doing shipping stuff, managing all this different stuff. Shopify really excels with functionality because they have that massive library of different apps and plugins. Uh, of course, a lot of them are paid. They're not mostly free, but with that being said, you have a large selection of the function of different functionalities you can add to customize and really make your website more powerful with Shopify. So that's definitely a huge plus right there. Of course, going back to a couple other smaller things in this category right here, one of them is that they both have great customer support. I really didn't have any issue with either of them. I've seen really great reviews across the board for both Shopify and Squarespace. They're very responsive. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking, there are some really bad ones out there, but these two generally do a pretty good job. Uh, Squarespace kind of has a cleaner URLs. So from an SEO standpoint, I do lean towards Squarespace, uh, where on the URLs, like for example, if it's like domain.com slash just the name of your product, rather than like Shopify likes to add a couple other things on there. So it might be like slash product slash new slash whatever that actual product name is. So that's something that I kind of don't like about Shopify. But again, it might be something that they're changing in the near future anyway. I mentioned that Squarespace has a lot of native functionality as well. So for example, you can host podcasts on here. It's fantastic for blogging. Uh, it's also great for really any other basic stuff you'd want to do with the website but it's hard to argue that you can't do that on Shopify because 
there's so many different apps out there. I'm sure there's a great app to host podcasts on your website, uh, but you'll just have to go and look for it. So as far as ease of use goes, and we'll talk about that in the next category, I mean, the extra apps definitely give you a lot of extra functionality, but a lot of times you have to go and find them, making them slightly less easy to use. So in general, as far as features and apps go, I think the absolute winner, an absolute landslide here, sends it over to Shopify. They do a much better job because they have that massive app store uh, that allows you to have so many different apps on your website. Now, the next category, as I mentioned just a second ago, is the ease of use. And I think this one is definitely a winner for Squarespace. As I've been saying throughout this video, they're generally easy to use. They're very robust. It's hard to make a website that doesn't look good and it is very responsive as well. Meaning if you make it on the desktop, it's almost definitely going to look good on a mobile device. Everything's kind of baked in. It's an all-in-one, like a one-stop shop. And so that's why for a while, I think they didn't even have integrations because they were really aiming to have everything you needed just right there. Now, Shopify has far more functionality and ability, but because of that, it's a little bit more complicated to use. It's a little bit less easy. And, you know, in general, I have to say the clear winner here is going to be Squarespace. Although I don't want to discourage you from Shopify based on this category alone, because I do have a full tutorial on either one of these, Shopify and Squarespace, and I'll link those below in the description as well. So whichever one you choose, I'll show you step-by-step step exactly how to make your website. And so you really don't have to worry as much about this category. Now I'm gonna make the assumption that you really only clicked on this video if you plan to sell things online. Otherwise, you really probably wouldn't be considering Shopify in the first place. So the next category is actually sales features, which is something that it might not be the first thing you think about, but it's definitely really important when you start selling things on the internet. Obviously having extra functionality in this aspect is going to be very helpful. So looking at these, the first thing, I wanna talk about what payments are accepted. I know I mentioned this before, but Squarespace only accepts Stripe, PayPal, and Square as of right now. I believe Square is a recent addition. It used to just be Stripe and PayPal. So with that in mind, uh, you're a little bit more limited here, but in general, those are pretty wide reaching uh, programs that are pretty global. So you really shouldn't have too much limitation globally, especially not in the US. You should definitely be fine with these. But Shopify definitely has an advantage here of using, of course, Shopify payments, which they really want. And, and they actually charge you a fee if you don't use that. But they also have like Amazon Pay, Stripe, PayPal, and, and a ton of other payment options as well, uh, kind of giving you more options to get paid with Shopify. But again, this is really kind of a subtle one depending on your region and, and which ones are actually available for you. Now, Shopify does have more powerful e-commerce features for sure, like I said. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to sell across multiple channels like Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, like whatever, wherever else you might be selling, it is a little bit easier to do with Shopify. But both definitely let you define like shipping zones. Uh, you could factor in like the weight for shipping and the cost of things for shipping uh, and things like that. They also both offer label printing. So a lot of different different functionality with both of these, but keep in mind the price is going to be different. A lot of these features are a little bit more expensive with Shopify. They either come with paid plugins or a higher, more expensive tier of, of the plan versus on Squarespace, it's going to generally be included with that standard $26 plan or even the $40 plan if you wanna really go all out. And so dollar for dollar, you're getting more features out of Squarespace. So I think in the sales feature category, the clear winner is Shopify as they just have more features and functionality and are really geared more in that direction. Now, with that being said, that kind of ties us into the final conclusion here. Which one is the right one for you, for your online store, for your business, your brand, your, your fundraiser, whatever it is you might be doing, I think it comes down to this. If you are looking to make a, an online store first, like that's your main objective is to sell things, then Shopify is going to be more scalable. They're gonna have more functionality on there. And in general, it's definitely going to be the better route for, for drop shipping and, and anything of that nature. And I know right now you might be thinking, Mike, that sounds like everything in online store. Why would you ever want Squarespace? And I think Squarespace has a really good option for anybody who is either like an influencer or a personal brand or really anybody who is not just selling but also you want a well-rounded website, Squarespace is gonna be a better option, especially if you're only selling anywhere under maybe 20 or 30 different items. If you have less than 20 or 30 items, Squarespace is a fantastic choice. So I think a great example here would be maybe like an Instagram influencer. You probably want an, a, a great about me page. You might want a blog on here. You might want a podcast hosted on here. And then you might have some merchandise as well, maybe 10 or 15 different items. And you can have a shop page on Squarespace. So I think that's where Squarespace really shines if you want a nice, 
well-rounded website that looks really good, is really easy to make. And then on the flip side, if your main goal is to sell things, then Shopify is going to be your better one. But I know a lot of people right now might be thinking, but Mike, what if I want a lot of powerful shopping features, but also a well-rounded website? Well, the good news is the option there is one that I've actually just made in a full tutorial. You'll probably be wanting to use WordPress and WooCommerce. It's generally very affordable. I have a link below to my full tutorial on that. And it is a fantastic option for anybody looking to put in a little extra work, but get way more functionality and a fantastic selling experience uh, for a relatively low cost. Now, with that being said, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know which of these two you think is going to be the right option for you, Squarespace or Shopify. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan from Santrell Media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.